Hello, this is Martin from the DDTSB. TSBs can save you a lot of time on your workshop, and as the cars continue to get more and more advanced, TSBs become more and more important. But where do you get your TSBs from? I would like to share with you the difference between our TSBs and the OEM TSBs. Also, how a TSB is created and how many TSBs we have in the program. So stay tuned. The purpose of a TSB is to save time for the workshop. It's to help them avoid making a serious fault that all of us would normally make if we made this repair or this diagnostic as we normally would. It could direct you to the most plausible cause of a common fault. Also, if you have an intermittent fault, it can be a very great information to have what normally could cause this intermittent fault. So, the conclusion is that a TSB is time-saving, you will also save money, and of course you will protect your image as a company. Because hopefully you are the one who could solve this difficult task that no one else could solve because you had the right information. Often when I speak to a workshop about TSBs, I get the reply that they already have TSBs. But here's something I think you should know before you make a statement like this. Many of the TSBs out there that you can find has to do with some sort of data from the OEM TSB. And where do the OEM or the manufacturer get this data or experience from? And of course, this is mainly from warranty cases. So, the information that you find in an OE TSB is mainly from a car that is no old, older than two to four years old and with a low mileage. So of course a TSB on the Ford that we just saw, you won't find that in an OEM TSB because this will only happen when the car reaches a certain age. And this is the difference between OEM TSBs and the TSBs that we have in DDTSB. We share information about whatever we see in the hotline. So this means it can be a car that is 20 years old, but it can also be a car that is one year old. So we say that we cover the information on cars from birth to grave. The hotline that you have access to in DDTSB, they answer more than 50,000 cases a year. So of course this will give us a clear picture when there's a common fault. And when we see this, we make a TSB to take the load off the hotline. We have no intention of answering the same question when we already know the answer. When the car is made today, they are made by robots and often it's the same materials and the same quality. So when the car gets older, we can also see it through our hotline cases that it is exactly the same place on the wiring loom where it, where it goes bad. It is also the same mechanical problems and the same electrical faults. So all this becomes very clear because we have a highly precise production of the car and when we monitor it through a hotline that gathers this experience, we can make TSBs that is useful for a car even if it's 10 years old. So how many TSBs can you expect to find inside the program? Well, it's a good question, but to be fair, we must first decide on how we count a TSB. If you take this example, this applies to all of these car brands with different model ranges and with the selected engine. And if we wanted to, we could say on just on a Ford, there could be more than 1000 models that this information is relevant to. But in our program, we only count a TSB like this for one. And as of right now, September 2021, we have 6500 TSBs out in the program. But it's not just TSBs that you can find in the program, we also have a lot of other features that will help you with the information that you need in your workshop.